all right so today we are going to talk about data raptor extract uh, what is the scenario we are going to do we are going to extract the data from the related object so typical scenario occurs like uh, suppose we are having the account id uh, as an input to the sales advisor and we wanted to extract the case of that related uh, related cases for that account and related contact for that cases which are associated so this is a typical use case uh, which is arriving uh, in any kind of uh, uh, sales advisor scenario so let's go to directly to org this is our org we have to create one dbdr extract related objects my interface will be extract only and input type this this is used for extracting related objects Damn. all right now coming to the data raptor extract when in interface types extract then we are having five types extract formula we can use some formulas we can we need to map output and there are some options for how 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 much time it can live in a cache option and then we can do the preview so the we'll go to our typical scenarios we'll add extract step it's an account this is the outcome which you will be used you will be using in your output tab we are doing the filter on the ID. ID will be ID, then we'll be using account ID. All right. Now, once we will be querying on the database, we need to put an outcome here. So, what we can do, we will be doing account name. So, this is all that field of account object. And this is the same way we can configure it so this is the output json if you see right hand side here it is going to be created like that way under account it is getting created we'll talk about there are different type of data type which we can use it depends on our requirement now we will take one more i'm not sure which is their account um name is there already account phone rating so there are all all of the fields let's say account type account type if that value exists then this is going to become this is my output which is getting display now we'll go here we'll put account id and we'll try to okay so let me bring some account id here this is account id let me execute it see the name is coming and this is the query is happening now we need to find a related case with this associated to this account so we'll go to again extract we'll take another case this will be account case now we'll be querying on the account id and this account id will be coming from account id if you see like this now if you see the hierarchy is happening we i am passing this account id which is coming from this output path all right now we'll go to the output we'll click on this now see account so i'm saying account when case see case is coming now i'll say case number from here and similarly i am going to pass it to output json so it is going to be like this account it is coming under that account is a case and the case number which i am getting pass here we will try to do some more we will say account case and uh, case description let's say description and 
I can pass it like this. Description. Or you can put like case description. Right? It's your wish. It's this is the JSON which is coming from this step and you wanted to display in this way this way then you can make your own nomenclature right now let's see what will happen if i'll again do the preview see right now it's only case 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 coming there is no description associated that one so we'll take different value here let's say i can put uh, priority and i will remove this one let's see what will come here see the priority is coming so there are three cases associated to this account this is the this case number and these are the priority so we can retrieve any kind of data now let's talk about one more level of hierarchy if i wanted to do i wanted to know contact contact but contact path will be account in its case then it's contact right so in this way i wanted to see the context part now what i'll do i need to pass case id here or what id so my requirement is i need to find the contact for particular case so i need to pass sorry why it's not happening id here and it has to come from this case so this case contact id so i am passing contact id from this record to this and now this is giving the list of the contact or contacts not sorry list of the contact this is giving me the list of cases and it giving me the case particular contact now i will see the hierarchy cases under that context so it is going to come like this all right now i will go to the output now i will come here extract json path account cases So I need to change that one as well. So let's put case here only. I will go back because okay. Then contact, then contact. Let's see first name. All right. Take this one. First name here only just go back i will not put this as a case case only list put case only it's normally we have to do the cases because there are multiple cases so and here also we need to do cases context so let's put the case only now we'll go again output so we have taking the contact of that case first name now what we'll do we'll go contact and it's let's say email id if it is there then it will give me otherwise it will not give me email id so this is the email id now let's do and preview it how it's going to look it should go case under that case it give me the contact so let's see see the case case contact is this this case contact is also the same all right so it is giving me the same contact id for the if you see right now 
now let's see let's go back to our just to recheck here i just came to that account all the keys are having the same contact id let's change let's try to change something here and we'll see i'm just changing let's say this is the thing i have just changed here I'll go to my record. I will query here. Oh, it should give me Andy here. See, so it's coming as Andy. Rest of the is having face. So this is the way where we can cases. This is the name of the account. Case. They are we having multiple cases. So we have the context for the each cases as well. So this is the way we can do the multi-level hierarchy. Uh, re, um, extract of the related objects using the data raptor extract.